Hey everybody, it's Jim, and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. So, today we are going over how to take and leave us with a first name if a variable contains a full name. And we are going to do that by using the right-hand masking technique. Program name is called firstname.ksh. It goes over masking to eliminate last and middle names. And the variable we are working with today is name1. We assign to it a value of George H.W. Bush. And just to review, if you want to remove a first name, you do this says take the value within name dot name one put it right here and then remove starting from the left hand side the first word followed by a space actually it says remove anything or nothing followed by a space so in this case we remove George space because George is anything and we are left with H.W. Bush getting put into last name. Now that's not exactly what we want. We want just the last name. So we take instead and use the double pound sign, which says match as many of these patents as you can, the asterisk space. So we take George H.W. Bush, put it right here, and then try to match from the left-hand side anything, followed by a space. We go back again, try to match anything, followed by a space. We go back again, find anything, followed by a space. And we go back again and try to find anything, followed by a space. Well, Bush does not have a space after it, so that doesn't match. And Bush is left right here and that gets assigned to last name. Now, how do we get the first name? Well, something very similar. We're going to define a variable called first name, and this is what we do. Dollar sign, curly brace, curly brace. Inside of it, we have our variable name, George H.W. Bush, and we say, starting from the right-hand side, we want to eliminate anything, excuse me, a space followed by anything. So in our case, a space followed by anything is space Bush. Therefore, George H.W. will get put right here. Let's run the program and see if that's what's actually happening. And running our program, we see that what we just ran, the variable assignment we just did, leaves George HW in our variable contents. So up here, when we want to eliminate more than just the first name, we use the double pound sign. So, here, when we want to eliminate more than just the last name, we would end up using a double percent sign. So let's look at the code afterward. George H.W. Bush is going to be in our variable. And how do we get the first name? We take first name and we assign to it this expression, dollar curly brace, curly brace, name one, rather the contents of name one, a double percent sign, which means starting from the right hand side, try to eliminate as many of these patents as you can, space asterisk. So George H.W. Bush gets put right here, and then we try to eliminate from the right hand side a space followed by anything. Up here, 
we have Space Bush, so that gets eliminated. We're left with George H.W. And we go back and we try to find a space, anything, that matches this. We are left with George space H. And we go back to it. And we try to eliminate a space followed by anything. That eliminates space H period, leaving us with George. And then we try to eliminate a space followed by anything. George doesn't have a space before. Therefore, you can't eliminate it, mask it out. So George gets left here, and George gets put into first name. Afterward, we just print out first name is dollar sign first name. And hit and return. We have first name is George. So the greedy method for eliminating patents from the right-hand side is to use a double percent sign.